Some foods nourish us, replenish our bodies with vitamins and minerals, protect us from disease, and make us feel better about our bodies. These are not those foods. A baking Christmas tree. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unhealthy foods. Then I'm going to get my dogs and just work them a little bit around. For this list, we're taking a look at popular foods that taste good, but are known to cause health problems, weight gain, and an epic feeling of grossness. Next time we eat a cat burglar. Number 10, ice cream. There you go, now that's a scoop of ice cream. Apparently we shouldn't scream for ice cream. Or maybe we should, but in the other way. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Whether you love milkshakes, sundaes, or ice cream from the container, it's full of sugar in any form and is known for being chock full of artificial ingredients and noxious fats. I don't know why you have to be such a grouch. This is really good. Here, have some. And while sugar is known for exposing you to risks of tooth decay, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Diabetes. Many of the artificial chemicals that make up the taste you love contain neurotoxins, which are known to damage the brain and nervous system. I'm gonna have peppermint stick. Yeah, me too. Can I just have peppermint stick? Sure. No, it's just called a peppermint. Peppermint dick! Number nine, bacon. What, what are you doing in my kitchen? Well, nobody knows eggs better than bacon. Sorry, Mojoholics. Bacon is definitely not as healthy as it is tasty. Oh, the main course. Ham and cheese, Versace bacon weave. According to researchers, people who eat bacon on a daily basis increase their probability of becoming diabetic by almost 20% and of getting heart disease by almost 50%. I feel like there's bacon going through my veins right now. Studies have also linked increased consumption of bacon to decreased lung function and lung disease, while the nitrates that form part of the preservatives in bacon are carcinogenic. We cook all the bacon. No exaggeration, all of the bacon. And if you have problems with high blood pressure, beware. The high sodium content in this delicious meat will make it skyrocket. My home gets foreclosed. Rub some bacon on it. My cat explodes. Rub some bacon on it. I wake up in a trunk. Rub some bacon on it. Number eight. Sugary cereal. I pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. The key word here, sugar. Just to give you an idea of the amount, the Environmental Working Group found that 10 of the most sugary cereals were between 41 and 56% sugar by weight. So if you're thinking Yum. this is a healthy breakfast, <laughs> you know, we need Look to really this. think again. Many cereals also contain high fructose corn syrup which is actually worse for you than table sugar. Sugar sweet cereal is sugary delicious. In fact, it's all sugar. Oh boy, oh boy! As well, the carbohydrates that can generally be found in cereal are commonly processed and thus stripped of any nutritional quality, especially when combined with the usual artificial colors, preservatives, and other additives. I'm in love with the cocoa. I'm in love with I eat them by the boat load. Number seven, bagels. Anyone want one of these? Eh? Anyone? Anyone? Can you handle the truth? While many of us have a toasted bagel with our preferred topping on a regular basis, the average bagel contains about 350 calories. And that's without all the other calorie-filled goodness we love to put on top. Mm. Mm. So good. In addition, the majority of the bagels on the market are made with refined white flour. Sorry, I, uh, I, I had a bite of my bagel and I forgot to pray. Contrary to whole wheat or other healthier flours, the vitamins, minerals, and fiber are stripped out of this kind, leaving you with a product that has been linked to weight gain, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Dalkin bagels. Dalkin bagels. Dalkin bagels. In the coffee. Number six, candy. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. Your sweet tooth might hate to hear this, but your body won't. Whether you love your chocolate bars, gummy bears, or lollipops, most contain an abundance of sugar, calories, artificial chemicals, and saturated fat. Too much of this kind of fat puts you very close to high cholesterol, which puts you at high risk for things like high blood pressure, heart disease, and even strokes. 
He's blocking all the chocolate. Well, what happens now? Right? Oh, the pressure will get him out. Terrific pressure is building up behind the blockage. And with many calories and little to no vitamins, minerals, or nutrients, candy can make you feel full even though your body is malnourished. Five, potato chips. Hey, kid. How about one of those chips? Just one. Bet you can't eat just one, but maybe you should. In addition to offering you tons of bad carbs and absolutely no health benefits, according to Health Canada, potato chips normally contain some of the highest levels of acrylamide a crystalline chemical that is formed when food is fried or baked at high heat and has been proven to cause cancer. Also, if you're trying to lose weight, chips are the last things you want to be eating. Many brands contain an abnormally high percentage of salt, and dietary sodium has been linked to weight gain and obesity. Number 4. Hot Dogs and Sausages you have a problem with me eating a hot dog guy? I'm probably watching him have a hot dog. I'll smack him in his head. Well, he's the wrong Try bringing some carrot sticks to the ball game instead. The University of Hawaii has found that eating hot dogs and sausages increases the chance of getting pancreatic cancer by almost 70%. Ketchup. Hot, kick-ass mustard. <laughs> Sodium nitrate, a common ingredient in this processed meat, has been found to cause colorectal cancer and leukemia, while other studies point to a link between its consumption and brain tumors. And if you eat these bad boys with condiments, look out. Here's how I like them, and I suggest you have them the same way. Engineered to resist spoiling, many of these contain unnatural preservatives and additives. I want to buy eight hot dogs and eight hot dog buns to go with them. But no one sells eight hot dog buns. They only sell 12 hot dog buns. So I end up paying for four buns I don't need. So I am removing the superfluous buns. Number three, anything deep fried. Do I look like I eat French fries? I don't know, you look like you're in great shape, but maybe you have like one cheat day, like a carb, carb blowout. Maybe you shouldn't have fries with that. In addition to French fries, things like fried chicken, Fish and donuts undergo quite a few changes after being subjected to high temperatures. From deep fried avocados to deep fried bacon wrapped pickles. Charlie's motto, if he can fit it in a fryer, he'll fry it. For one, deep frying food allows it to develop advanced glycation end products, which is a known factor in chronic inflammation and stress. Give me a basket, please. Science. I don't know yet. I'm still think about it. I watch my figure. In addition to increasing the risk of prostate cancer by up to almost 40% when eaten weekly, things like french fries can also give you a stroke or cancer in anything from your neck and esophagus to your breasts and pancreas. Why don't you have a bite and stop judging it? I'm not going to bite into a fried bat. It's That's delicious. It's all tendon. Look at it. Number two, soda. Hey, guys, hey! Next time you reach for that Coke, steer your hand to the water bottle instead. According to one report, one can of pop generally has about 10 teaspoons of sugar, 150 calories, over 30 milligrams of caffeine, and is full of artificial colors and sulfites. Let's not forget to mention that the acidity of pop makes your acid filtering kidneys suffer and weakens the bones, leading to diseases like osteoporosis. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Diet soda is arguably even worse, containing aspartame, which has been linked to insomnia, epilepsy, blindness, birth defects, and reproductive problems, just to name a few. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. You whisk this all together, and when it's mixed, it should, fingers crossed, taste like ranch dressing. We shouldn't be eating red meat every single day. There is no need to eat red meat every single day. One number eight. All right, party time. I would suggest sticking around and watching him eat it because it only takes four minutes and it's pretty amazing. These will not be necessary. So when you refine something, you remove a lot of the mechanisms that allow you to safely utilize the nutrients 
and the sugars and the calories in that food. So while margarine was initially seen as a healthier option, its own hazards slowly came to light. <laughs> Number one, pastries. Smells chocolatey, eh? Now, eat it. We're looking at you, donuts, cookies, muffins, cakes, and other sugary treats. While all of these might not necessarily be categorized as pastries, we are grouping them all together as baker's confectionaries here. You gave them cake? I gave them slivers. Oh. <laughs> these appealing yet unwholesome treats can boast no significant nutritional benefits at all. Not only that, but they commonly contain some of the worst ingredients a human can ingest, all in abundance. Where is that private pile? Sir, jelly donut, sir! A jelly donut? Sir, yes, sir! How did it get here? Sugar, artificial ingredients, food additives, and calories are just some of the factors you have to consider before taking a bite. Just looking at one pastry, namely donuts, most of these contain 35 to 40 percent trans fats, which is the very worst kind and is known to bring on cancer, brain, and heart disease. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? And I will not finish. Which unhealthy snack do you think belongs on our list? Careful, they're ruffled. For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Yeah, right. Okay, well, I'll leave you too.